hi guys welcome back to my channel i know i have not posted a video in like two weeks and i am so sorry about that but welcome back you guys as you guys can tell in the title i will be trying out the new house lavatories new blushes and bronzers that they came out with i got it right here on pr so thank you house labs for sending it over i am so excited you guys know i love house labs so i'm excited to try this out and you guys before you guys even leave decide to leave this video you guys want to be part of my little family if you guys like my content make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to know when i post another video i would love to have you part of my little family i just i am so sorry i have not posted a video i have been sick mentally and physically you guys like anxiety you guys have literally has been kicking my ass like i don't know sometimes of what's going on in my brain but we're here we're going to do this so let's go ahead and get started so this is the little box that it came in it's like super pretty first of all lady gaga looks amazing and beautiful and look at this right here she just looks so pretty i did not expect them to come out with blushes and bronzers but they did and i'm so happy they sent it over here they sent over three other blushes and highlighter duos and two other bronzers and highlighter duo so we have they actually have in total seven new blushes and seven new bronzers with highlighters it's going to be launching october 6 on houselabs.com it comes like this putting the prices right here when i find out for you guys or they're going to be in the description box below whenever i find out i'll put it there for you guys i'm going to be doing i already did my base I didn't even cream contour normally i've been liking to cream contour i just didn't do it this time because i wanted to see how the bronzers will look without that cream contour so we're gonna go ahead and try this out and i'm also going to be using these as eyeshadows that's why i don't have any eyeshadow on right now so i'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes and we're going to be trying all of these out and i'm going to be throwing out some swatches here for you guys so you guys can see so the blushes are going to be called head rush blush highlighter duos and the bronzers are going to be the heat spell so do want to let you guys know that that each of them have their own little name to it so let's go ahead and start with the first one this one it is such a pretty color it's like a peach color pinkish peaches you know i like the fact that they sent ones that i would kind of fit my tones um because i don't need all of them you know as long as they send the ones that would fit me actually no this one's more pinkish than this one right here as you guys can see right there the difference this one's more like of an orange undertone and then this one has a bit of more of a pink one and this one it is a deeper pink so i'm gonna kind of have them all laid out next to each other so you guys can see the difference that they sent over i just kind of scraped that one a little bit right now so my favorite one to be honest it would be between these two i wouldn't really use this one on myself because it is such a deeper pink and i feel like this one will look really really amazing for deeper complexion so i like the fact that they came out with a blush that would be useful for deeper complexion I have also the bronzers here they sent over two which is amazing like i don't need more but these two are fine i'm going to show you guys really quick the difference so we have these two this is the lighter one i think and then this one's a darker one which I really, really like. And they also come with these highlighters. So we're going to go ahead and try some of the bronzers out. I am going to go in with Kindle, which is this one right here. It's like a lighter one. It seems more of a contour color for me. And we're going to be applying this to the cheek right here. So let's go ahead and try this out and see how it looks. So that's how much it picks up right now. So we're going to just kind of tap this in and blend. Do you guys see how pigmented that is right off the bat? that looks really really nice and that's why i don't want a cream contour because i wanted to see how it works without cream contouring you guys because this is really nice so far that looks like it's blending out very very nicely i like to kind of add and i literally just tap it a little bit you don't need to go in a lot because once you tap you can kind of get off a pretty good amount so we're gonna kind of tap that in all over right here as well. I'm just gonna be using this one on one side and then the other on the other side so you guys can see. So as you guys can see, it is looking very, very nice. So we're gonna go ahead and try this one on the other side. And I'm gonna be tapping this in. And this one's a little bit more darker so you might have to be careful just a little bit. You can see that I got some in this side of the brush here. So we're gonna go ahead and just 
blend that in I feel like this one's a bit more of a warmer one so you have to be a little bit careful there so I'm gonna go in with just a little bit and blend that out so so far you guys I like both of them I do feel like this one's a bit more of a darker one for me I like this one more than this one if you ask me I feel like this is more my type of bronze which I like I'm gonna start blending that in a little bit here so it can kind of look a little bit even but I actually do like them just in case you guys were wondering and you can see right off the bat right here how it is a little bit more of a warmer reddish brown and then I feel like this other one the first one that I tried on is more of a cooler tone you can see it right away this one's more warm and then this one's more cool I do rather have the Kindle one because I just feel like it's like nicer so I'm gonna just kind of finish off here so we can move on with the blushes. But before I actually move on with the blushes, I do want to use some of those bronzers for my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with Kendall, which is the first one that I had tried on, the cool tone one. We're going to be using that and kind of contouring a little bit inner corner right here just to kind of give more my eye a little bit more depth. And we're going to be using this as eyeshadow just because, you know what, whenever you're having those rush, busy days, you want to make sure that you want to get like a quick look. You can use bronzers and blushes. You don't really have to use eyeshadows, you know. So I'm going to be using this on my eye. Just kind of using that and blending that a little bit in the bottom. Starting to do some Halloween looks. If you guys are not following me on my Instagram, then you guys have not seen it. I will be posting some pictures here that I have recently done for Halloween, which I love you guys. You guys know I love Halloween. And last year, I did some Halloween looks. I just don't know if you guys are interested on watching me create some Halloween looks. Make sure that you guys leave in the comments below if you guys want to see me do some Halloween looks here on my YouTube channel. Like that, I can know if you guys are interested because I'm just not sure. Especially since it's a lot of work doing Halloween looks. It's a little bit more time consuming. So I just wanted to make sure you guys are interested in that. So let me know in the comments below. Now I'm going to go in with Hot Earth, which is the darker one. And we're going to be using that and kind of deepen a little bit in the inner corner because it is a little bit more of a deeper bronzer. Guys, that is really, really nice. You guys see how it's like making it a little bit darker, which I like a lot. So we're just going to kind of keep adding this to the outer corner and then blending it out. Okay, now that we're done with the bronzer, I'm going to move on with the blushes now. So I'm going to be using these two the most. These two, I'm going to be using, these are the Untamed and this one, it is the Pleaser. This one's with pink and this one's like more of a peach color. So I'm going to go in with the pink just a tad bit. Like I said, I am going to be using a clean brush for this. And we're going to be tapping in there. I don't know how pigmented this is and I'm low-key kind of scared. So we're going to just, oh. Oh, it's pigmented okay so we're gonna just kind of blend that in and I'm going to be adding that to the temple of my eye just so it can kind of blend in with the eyeshadow and just blending that in do you guys see how pigmented this blush is like it is really there like do you see the difference between this side and this side no blush with blush it's just a big difference so we're going to be adding that to right here I kind of really want to make it a very blushy look so I'm gonna go in in with this blush now on the other side I'm going to be using pleaser so you guys can see the difference between untamed and pleaser so we're going in with pleaser this time I am low-key scared is this the one I think this is the one that I want to use because the other one's a little bit darker yes this one so let's go in with pleaser I just tap that in and add it here oh do you guys see the difference of the color there I'm gonna just blend that in I'm a little scared right now but I just like pleaser more it's just more of my color that I like do you guys see the difference it is just really there I'm going to be adding that a little bit to my nose just to make it a little bit more pink oh oh you guys I am blushed out right now it's like crazy I'm gonna add a little bit of pleaser on this side because I don't want my face to look different on both sides so I'm kind of adding both blushes in so you guys can see what you can do with this you could obviously wear less than this I'm just going crazy with it because the video you know so I just wanted you guys to see me use the blushes 
but I really, really do like this. So let's go in with a brush here, blending brush. So I'm gonna go in with this. I'm gonna go in with Untamed, which is a more pinkish one. And I'm going to be adding that to the lid of my eye and just kind of packing it in there, making it a bit more blushy tone. I like a lot, you guys. You guys see what I just did there? It is super cute. Kind of gives me the vibe of the e-girl look that Doja Cat did. You know how she would use her blushes on her eye? I don't know if you guys know what I mean. But she, that's what they do. They just kind of use blush. And they also use a blush right here under. Kind of make it look like if you were sick or something like that. I don't know if it's true or not. But I'm going to go and pack it. Okay, you guys. So, as you guys can see, I was able to use the blush on my eyeshadows. I'm going to go in with pleaser now i'm gonna go in with this one and i'm going to kind of deepen a little bit more on the eyes because i just wanted to use this and kind of deepen it in you might not be able to tell but it's actually blending out very nicely with the bronzer which is a good thing because you use a bronzer and the blush together which i like a lot we're going to be using the um highlighters in a bit you guys don't don't worry i'm going to be using those so I'm going to be going with Pleaser and just kind of also blending that in down here. Pleaser, like I said, is more of a peachy blush. So I really like the way this look came out. It's very, very nice. So I do want to try, I do want to try Provoke, which is a darker blush. I just feel like I need to use it. I'm going to be using the brush and I'm going to be packing a little bit of that. But I'm going to be using this on the edges of my, of my face just to kind of give it a little bit more of depth because I just wanna be able to show you guys how deep this can get. You can see it right here, I am using it there. I'm going to be showing you the difference between this side and this side of how darker it got here using that. So we're going to be using this and adding it here so you guys can see. Cause I wanna just be able to show you guys all the blushes together and just kind of using like on a look. But do you guys see how it just got a little bit darker here? so i just wanted to really show you guys a little bit we could even add this on the eyes as well you can grab a little bit of a brush here and kind of just pack it in and really really deepen that outer corner with this and you could even add it to the inner corner whatever you guys want you guys could do it you guys don't obviously have to use all of these i'm just showing you guys but i really like the way this look came out so now i'm gonna go in with the highlighters so obviously with the blushes we do have some highlighters that would go perfectly over the blushes and we have also these highlighters for the bronzers just in case you're into the bronze and just a highlight moment you guys could do that as well some people don't like the blinding highlight but they also like seeing the highlight come out on their blush so that's up to you guys so right now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be adding a little bit of this highlighter moments on my eyes on my cheeks so we're gonna go in with um a little bit of a pink highlighter right now i'm gonna go in with tease which is this one right here super super nice i the light kind of washes it out a bit but i'm gonna go in with this and then add this a little bit to the blush here and it's very very subtle as you guys can see I don't know if you guys can see, maybe you guys can see I have a little bit of glow now compared to this, how it doesn't have a glow, and then this one does. So it's very, very subtle, which I like. Really, really nice. We're going to go ahead and add this to the other side as well. This is on top of your eyes, like on the eyelid and stuff, and just kind of add it there. Super cute and simple. Now I'm going to try some of the highlighters from the bronzer side. I'm going to go in with Ember, which is this one right here. I'm going to be adding this. To this side of the cheek so you guys can see the difference i'm gonna add this all over the face because this one's i feel like this is like really really nice especially if you want like a bronzy look this one's perfect so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of add this everywhere so this is so far the look that i have created i'm gonna go off camera add some like mascara and lashes and i'm gonna be adding a lip right now and i'll be right back okay you guys so i'm back and you guys i just wanted to you guys i actually really really do like these bronzers i actually like the blushes really like them you guys i have no complaints um like i said i've always loved what house labs comes out with so far i have been obsessed with them and if I had to pick two of them, I would pick between this palette for the bronzer palette. This is the Kindle and Ember version. Um, and then we also have this blush one. This blush one, it is the Untamed and 
intricate, in, in, intoxicated, intoxicate. I'm sorry, intoxicate. Why did I say intricate? What is wrong with me? But yeah, I am into these two. I actually like this one, the, the peachy one too. But I feel like, I don't know, this one, it can be cute, more cute for like the summer. This is more like a fall blush. It just depends what kind of mood that you're in. But if I had to pick between these two, it would be between these. And this one would be like my little extra one just for like to give it a little umph, you know. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You guys, if you guys want to know my lip combo, I just want to tell you guys really quick my lip combo. This lip combo, I am using the House Laboratories. This is their RP Lip Liner in Rule. And I am using their Le Monster Matte Lip Crayon in Power Move. So this is the lip combo that I am using. I use this one as a lip liner and then this one all over the lips. Just wanted to make sure I tell you guys that because just in case you guys are wondering, I want to let you guys know. So thank you guys again so much for watching my video. If you guys have any questions or anything, make sure you leave them down below in the comments below. And if you guys like this video, if you guys like the look that I created using the bronzers and the blushes, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and comment like that YouTube knows that you guys are interested and recommend it to other people. Thank you guys so much. And again, if you guys are not following me on my Instagram and Twitter, make sure you guys are following me there. I am posting more Halloween looks there than here on YouTube. Just wanted to let you guys know that. Thank you guys again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.